Uh, did you enjoy your dinner, everybody? Uh, hey Dan, there's no sound. So today, uh, now we'll look at um, the basic path of um, heaven and earth. The um, kunbon, the basic, the basic um, axis of the universe, is the relationship between son, father, and son. It is not the relationship between the father and daughter, not the relationship between the mother and the son, not relationship between the mother and the daughter. Why is this? It's because the father's seed uh, is, the, because the the son is the one that inherits the seed from the father. So God, as the father. He's the first generation, and Adam, as God's son, is the second generation. First generation and the second generation, um, God created the world. But the third and the fourth uh, generation are um, multiplied through, women, through the woman uh, horizontally. So the first and second generation are the vertical uh, father-son uh, lineage relationship and the third and fourth generation is also a vertical father-son um, lineage that is accomplished through Adam um, centering on true love so God's true love is um, encountered through the man and the possession of God's true love is accomplished through the woman. So, so the Eve, is, the Eve does not meet God's true love directly in a relationship with God, but rather through Adam comes to meet and experience God's love. And the seed of true love is not conveyed directly to Eve, but is conveyed to Eve through Adam. Therefore, true love, God's true love, cannot be given directly to Eve, but must come through Adam. So, in the vertical relationship, the relationship is that God is the subject and Adam is the object. But horizontally, Adam is the subject and Eve is the object. So what that means is actually Eve uh, needs to attend to her husband even to a greater extent uh, than um, she attends to God. This is the most fundamental order uh, at the axis of heaven and earth. So within... Um, Within God, there is a you know subject and object. I mean, with all of God's creation, there's subject and object. But there is absolutely correct order between these. That correct order is the foundation and the axis of the universe. If you destroy that order between subject and order, it destroys the axis between God and the universe, and and destroys God's ideal. Therefore, centering on the principle, God is the substance of the principle. And that, that principle is the law. And if that principle is embodied and then become one with uh, the, uh, the substance of the principle, which is God, and all things can therefore be inherited through God. For that reason, God gave the commandment to Adam and Eve, do not eat the fruit of the tree of knowledge of Gundiva. Such a precious thing. Obviously, what could it have been? 
that was such an important thing because it was love. Therefore, love is even more precious than life. It's, it's the question, is the problem life or the problem love? Love is the more important question. When love and life are connected, that is the uh, sexual organs, and through the sexual organs, the seed of love is conveyed, resulting in lineage. So the male um, has the seed, but the woman does not have a seed. The sperm in the man is the seed and can become a son or can become a daughter. There are two types of seed there. However, the, the woman does not have the seed. Uh, rather, the woman is the field in which the seed is planted. So the seed of the, sper seed of, the sperm of true love uh, meets with the ovum that is the body of life of true love uh, in order for that to take place this is the um, accomplished through true love it must meet together in one place so from this viewpoint we need to understand that the sexual organ is more important than than the cosmos it's, where do I begin? Even in my family, uh, our family begins from the relationship between the sexual organs. The entire world comes from sexual organs. So heaven and earth comes from the sexual organs. And where is heaven or uh, hell decided? It's decided in the sexual organs. When the sexual organs fulfills its responsibility centered on God, this is heaven. But when it, when it takes action centered on Satan, that is hell. We need to understand, therefore, how important is the uh, sexual organ. And that's why God said, do not eat the fruit. From this one viewpoint, uh, that is the one point where the three uh, beings vertical and horizontally meet together. In other words, the vertical true love uh, uh, original substance, which is God, and the horizontal uh, Adam and Eve uh, come together centering, must come together centering on God's true love. So, uh, within the human body, the most important and precious part is the sexual organ. It's more important, it's the most important and precious thing in the entire universe. Centering on the uh, sexual organs, Adam, uh, God and Adam and Eve would all, uh, met, uh, would all become one, uh, embodying true love, true life and true lineage. So this is, uh, the important thing here is lineage. We um, cannot speak about um, we never talk about uh, you know the the line of love or the line of uh, life, but we talk about the line of blood, which is the other the blood lineage, which is the uh, another word for lineage. The two need to become one. I can use my uh, a sexual organ just for myself. It has to be used for the sake of the other. So if you want to use the second sexual organ, you have to ask your partner, for example. You know, if, if, if um, a, a wife said to her husband, oh, excuse me, my beloved, I want to have an affair with someone using my sexual organ, what husband would permit that? If, uh, if the husband did the same thing, there's no, no reasonable wife would permit that either. So even God. So if the door to heaven is opened, it 
it is it is open through uh, the love organ and the door to hell is also um, opened or closed with the sexual organ therefore only the owner of the sexual organ is the one who can open or close that door so without the permission of the owner of the sexual organ we cannot use it so in the original world those who receive the blessing there's no such concept of blessed families being um, broken of uh, becoming divorced or having affairs outside of marriage it's inconceivable in the original world the the principle does not permit any sort of um, behavior with any other person except the blessed partner so as important as love is therefore it must be kept absolutely and it must be this is the blessing where which brings together two partners two owners so what kind of blessing is it is a blessing of marriage a blessing is not just two people uh, like each other and coming together no it is is a marriage it determines the uh, owner of the sexual organ uh, they don't just meet together and say oh you're the owner of my sexual organ no God is the owner of the sexual organ because God is the owner of the sexual organ this is why the marriage blessing must come from God horizontally uh, from the horizontal viewpoint the owner of Adam's sexual organ is Eve and the owner of Eve's sexual organ is Adam but vertically the owner is God so those three uh, owners must come together so when the owner uh, bless the owner giving the blessing to use uh, the owner giving permission to use uh, that sexual organ this is what we call the marriage blessing when we think about this we need to understand that the blessing is precious but also quite fearful if we if we keep the blessing it is the most uh, wonderful thing but if we violate it it's terrible truly terrible so we have to raise people that we have today because in the in the secular world they just uh, people match up if they like each other or they don't uh, then they just come together I have one experience where I was uh, speaking with a deacon in our church and that person had done a lot of witnessing and did a lot of witnessing to uh, university students and those university students uh, would graduate university and they would have some sort of uh, they would have some sort of uh, faith and they would go back to their homes have training for six months before they would be introduced to the blessing so they had um, they in order to have uh, the they were going to have a matching ceremony So they did uh, a matching ceremony and the, one of the um, participants in the matching just uh, left there and went home and asked, and when the deacon in the church asked, why is this? Why did you just leave? He said, well, I didn't like the person that I was matched to. Uh, the, but you know we need to understand this from God's viewpoint from father's viewpoint it doesn't matter you know what the person looks like having received the matching if father matches you 
um, father matches you, if you're a man, matches you to a woman, just the fact that she is a woman and matched to you by father, that's enough, that's sufficient. You know, the, the face is not important. We need to actually be more focused on the internal character of the person. What is the seed within their heart, within their mind? So we need to be thinking about, is this person have a good mind? If the mind is good, then it doesn't matter what a person looks like. Mm. So, you know, within our, um, our culture, we talk about what is a beautiful woman. A beautiful woman is actually a, a woman who behaves like a true woman has the character of a woman of virtue, that is the definition of beauty of a woman. We don't look at the person, what the person owns, or the level of knowledge that they have. So men, when they think about, oh, I met a good woman, I was lucky to get matched with this uh, family, it doesn't make any sense if it's uh, the question here is, is it a powerful family? Is it a family with a lot of uh, possessions, for example? The marriage blessing is not a business. So the important thing in the important in marriage then it's not these horizontal circumstances or aspects however the important thing is the quality of heart whether there is love there and the faith and love need to be the central point uh, unfortunately the environment around us discourages us from thinking this way so we need to reorganize our faith and make um, and renew this, uh, the correct understanding of the value of the blessing and what's important within the marriage blessing. So, so within the cosmos, the most precious thing is the owner, uh, is the sexual organ, and the owner of that section organ The most precious existence in the universe for is the owner of the sexual organ. For for the owner of the sexual organ, the most precious um, being in the universe is the is the object of the sexual organ. For that reason, uh, human beings are the um, most central being in the entire cosmos. So male and female, for male and female to be perfected, for the universe to be perfected, um, for, uh, and even for God, uh, when, when they are perfected, then it is God who created the universe becomes uh, perfected as the owner of the cosmos. So, the basic uh, concept of the returning Messiah is that the Messiah comes to bring uh, resolution to this issue. So, horizontally speaking, horizontally speaking, the owner of the sexual organs are Adam and Eve, but vertically speaking, the owner of the organ is God, the, who is the uh, original substance of true love. So, vertically speaking, who who is the owner of your sexual organ? It's God. If if um if uh, Adam and Eve had if Adam had been perfected, then God would have taught him this. God would have. Uh, introduced to Adam that um, Adam, this is Eve. She is the most blessed uh, blessing that I can give you. 
So this was the meant to be the marriage blessing. That permission was meant to come from God. And that marriage is when God uses the physical body of Adam, comes together with Eve. Even if there is a... Um, even if um, they, that Adam and Eve were matched, they couldn't just come together to make love together on their own. Why? Because God is the owner. So they need the permission of God to use their sexual organs. This is the correct order of life, the correct order of love, the correct order of the cosmos. So we need to establish correct, absolute view of life, centering on true love, centering on absolute sex. If in this way it's possible to resolve the problems of the real world and move towards the accomplishment of God's ideal, which is peace, unity, and happiness. By, if we maintain absolute sex and perfect it at that time, then God would teach, God is the owner of the sexual um, organ, would teach to Adam, the owner of your sexual organ is Eve. And God would teach to Eve, the owner of your sexual organ, organ is Adam. God would teach this. And that would be the beginning point of the precious, wonderful life. However, when the two of them were married together, blessed together, then God would enter into Adam and through Adam experience marriage in unity with Eve. True love, therefore, for the Eve is uh, meets God's true love through Adam. And it's through Eve that Adam is able to uh, possess the true love of God. So when God uses Adam as his substantial manifestation and Eve as his true object, so Eve, uh, when Eve attends to Adam as her husband and Adam is united with God, then ultimately uh, Eve becomes the wife of who? The substantial God. So at this time, so the one place where God and Adam and Eve all meet together are the sexual organs of Adam and Eve. And that location is the place where marriage takes place. Therefore, we can say the sexual organs are the palace of true love, true life, and true lineage. Oh, the sun's palace. Mm. So the woman's sexual organ is the palace of true love, true life, and true lineage for the man. The man's sexual organ is the is the origin of true love, true life for the woman. Therefore, before. Uh, the marriage blessing given by God, purity is the most essential thing. It's the most essential requirement. And um, the male sexual organ is the instrument through which the seed of the sperm of true love from God is conveyed. Therefore, before marriage and even after marriage, absolute sexual purity of absolute um, absolute sexual purity must be kept or even with when your grandparents or when you're uh, sorry old people all through life needs to be kept so let's come to a conclusion then what kind of being is God who is God 
Number one, God is the one being, the absolute one being, who is the original substance of the principle. This is the first uh, point within. So the original substance of the principle is not two beings, it is one, it is the one, absolute one being God. God is um, the self-existing being that is uh, absolute, unique, unchanging and eternal. Secondly, as a substance of the print, original substance of the principle, God is also the original substance of energy and is the harmonized subjective being uh, who exists through the harmon uh, as a unique being, the unique uh, heavenly father as the harmonized being of uh, Song Sang and Hyung Sang. And the third point, God who is the uh, original substance of the principle is uh, a being, is, is the original substance of Shim Jong, of true love and of true character. He's also the original substance of the, uh, of the principle and law and order. Fourth, the um, fundamental uh, attributes of God are Shim Jong and true love. True love, when true love is invested, true love is the character nature to invest and invest and uh, forget and then invest again. True love is the marrow of is 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 a is the a powerful longing that we feel within our very bones uh, through our shimjong. Number five, God, who is the uh, original substance of the principle, um, exists through a position uh, is a positional being that exists through the relationship of subject and object. So the principle is a manifestation that expresses order. Six. So, God, who is the absolute, is the uh, original substance of the principle, is the uh, absolute, uh, the original substance of absolute sex, of true love, true life, and true lineage. Mm. God's sons and daughters have to uh, must absolutely keep actual absolute sex in order to accomplish families of absolute sex absolute purity and of a pure lineage and pure family. In the old days, when I used to um, serve and minister in Mapo, there were a lot of uh, students came to our church. We were studying the principle. Mm. Did you go? There was a, uh, some a Catholic uh, student who came and uh, he heard uh, 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 the uh, principal creation. He was very, very happy. But he, uh, when he got to the fall of man, it was a, it was a problem for him because uh, if he had. There were many women in his uh, university. He says, "Well, I can't. Uh, I, I want to do whatever I want before I marry." Mary, and then I will just repent before I get married. And, and I, so I, I just want to do what I wanted to. So I said, well, the... But he said, and he gave the example of the thief on the right. And um, uh, suddenly, and, and um, the thief on the right said, Lord, uh, take me with you. And uh, even that, even that uh, thief on the right uh, repented on the cross, and and so I'm going to do the same. I'm going to repent just before I died, uh, before I die, and I'll go to paradise. I was I was amazed. So, in uh, a lot of uh, young people in Korea today have that kind of thinking, and that is absolutely wrong. Do you understand? So, the my don't. Don't think that don't think that you're going to marry the most handsome man or the be most beautiful woman in the world. You will never find that woman or man. So, you know, just uh, find uh, someone that uh, 
Oh, much as, uh, so we go, go backwards, go the other way, go down. And suddenly, that is where the b biggest blessing is. Uh, but our father, when he was doing the matching in the past, he would take the, uh, the, uh, the ugly people and the, the um, uh, people who were disabled, and, and they, he would match them first. And, so, and, then, and he would say that if you are married with this person, you, 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 will, uh, you will have many good uh, uh, sons and daughters and descendants, and hold up your hand uh, if you want to marry this woman, he would say that way. And so, then, so he would uh, start with the difficult people. And so then the other people would be easy. So father, father did it that way. That means that uh, the the most difficult person, uh, the person that is uh, 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 who is going to save that person, the father has to save that person. And so that is uh, so uh, he uh, considered each life as as most precious. And today we have to have uh, how much do we feel that way today? That is our, our problem, our task. So then, on the seventh conclusion, the human beings are resemble the uh, original substance of the principle, and um, we uh, we appear as a sons and, as um, uh, men and women, and the with the uh, seed of a true love uh, that uh, carries the uh, uh, that uh, God's Shimjong. Uh, uh, in his sperm, and the and the woman uh, uh, has the the uh, uh, has the uh, life of the uh, uh, the body of life uh, of a uh, uh, true love uh, in her ovum, and they come together. Uh, but if they don't have a uh, God's shimjong, uh, then these are uh, unfertilized eggs. They think so. Then so also the ovum, uh, woman's ovum must also uh, must have a uh, um, uh, God's shimjong. Uh, because that uh, ovum is the, bo the uh, body of life, and so the, and the, and that uh, that uh, shimjong of God uh, comes from where the uh, woman's heart, the woman who is the uh, the owner of that ovum. So the, the shimjong has to be the center. So in the eighth uh, conclusion, the God who is the original substance of the principle, uh, he he is the uh, he is the uh, 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 substance of character of uh, intellect, uh, emotion, and will. And ninth, n number nine, uh, he has a uh, uh, that uh, uh, God also has as a portion of responsibility. He also has a, a growing period, and he had a uh, portion of responsibility uh, during that period. And so we see in a divine principle that uh, uh, God's will is accomplished only when the uh, um, a portion of responsibility of God and of man come together, but he also had a he. So he, he uh, grew uh, through the axis, and he but he uh, created himself. This was he creating himself, and so uh, that. And there was a growing period through which he became the father, and that was his portion of responsibility, and. There was a hundred, but uh, but uh, using that uh, full, by accomplishing that uh, that uh, portion of responsibility, uh, he uh, created human beings and told them not to eat the fruit and, and to assume. So then, already the uh, he had uh, gone through that uh, growing period and had reached that conclusion, and so uh, he uh, gave that uh, word to, to Adam and Eve, and so there's this the. This was the uh, growing period which, uh, through which uh, Adam and Eve had to become uh, perfect. And that was their re portion of responsibility because the uh, Father had already done it. God had already done it. God would not uh, tell Adam and Eve to do something he had not already done himself. <clears throat> that would be uh, hypocritical. He's the creator, so he must be, more, he must be stricter because he's the original substance of the principle. He must be even more strict. But today, the religious people say, oh, because he's uh, omniscient, omnipresent, there's no, there's no reason to talk about that. That's wrong. So, he, because he is uh, um, omnipresent and omniscient, uh, he has to be a, a god of uh, principle. And if he denies that, that uh, uh, he himself will be denying the principle. Then, so, so, But that is why, even though he, he saw them eating the fruit, he was not able to interfere. 
because he um, because he knew that if he interfered in the principle, he would be denying he would be uh, denying himself, and so he could not to do that. So if he denies the principle, then he would be denying himself, who is the owner of the principle. And so, even though it was a painful unto death, uh, but uh, he could not interfere in the fall. Why? Because, because the principle remained, and he there is still the owner of that principle. Even though things did went wrong, still there was the principle, so there was still a way to uh, save uh, 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 human beings. So that is how the uh, providence of restoration came about. So when you see this today, so we can see that this is the kind of uh, being that God is. And number ten, God, who is the original substance of the principle, is the owner of uh, uh, conscience and the uh, owner of life. <clears throat> and then he raised Adam and Eve. Who created Adam? Adam. It was the God of night. He embraced, he nurtured and embraced uh, uh, Adam. And there's the inner uh, Song Sang and uh, inner uh, Hyung Sang. So he uh, uh, conceived uh, Adam and Eve. Adam, that is, uh, conceived Adam and and uh, established the laws and uh, and uh, and uh, designed him. And so then, then uh, through the inner uh, Hyung Sang, everything was confirmed. The uh, uh, ideas and conceptions, and then that when that was uh, uh, was uh, expressed uh, in con concretely, then it was done mathematically, and that was within the uh, uh, God of Night. The, the seed came from uh, the seed comes from the father's uh, sperm, and that is uh, planted in the uh, in the uh, womb of the uh, mother. So the so and then within the womb that the seed uh, grows. And so that's why Adam and Eve, and where did they come from? He uh, embraced them. He, uh, he, uh, God, uh, which God? God of night. Uh, Jesus too. Jesus also was, was uh, created that way. So that's his father's words. So father was all, so also father uh, came from the God of night and he was embraced and, and nurtured by the God of night. One time there was a meeting of a uh, second generation and a uh, father was explaining this uh, to uh, the second generation. Uh, he said, uh, he asked them, you were born without original sin, but uh, your parents had original sin. And so, but uh, father was, uh, but I was born in a much more uh, fundamental place. Uh, I was born of the uh, uh, God of night and he uh, embraced and nurtured, nurtured me. That's what he said. So when he was born, so the he was uh, uh, born in the uh, family of a Chungmonim, but uh, he he was not uh, born though of his of two physical parents, but uh, but uh, of God, Jesus too. Of course, uh, she was he was born uh, of, of uh, Mary's womb and the family of Zachariah, uh, but uh, he was he came from heaven, from the God of night. But uh, now they say that. Uh, that they say that a uh, father has original sin and somebody else doesn't, that that's ridiculous. Uh, he wouldn't be the Messiah if he had uh, uh, original sin. And he says, and they say, oh, but he had uh, siblings. They had uh, original sin. Uh, how could only father not have original sin? That's what they say. Is that right? Is that way to say it? Jesus too, in Zachariah's family, in the and Joseph. And uh, 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 John the Baptist, they all had uh, original sin, but Jesus did not. So then, so then, when we get, we'll talk about that more when we get to the uh, principle of restoration. And so today, uh, so you might think, oh well, yeah, well, people who don't know might think that, but people who are in the know will never go that way. Why? How can you can you can you call something that is false true? How can you say that uh, if, it, uh, if it is wrong? How can you say that it's true? It's better uh, better if you just uh, uh, not uh, go at all. And then number thirteen, uh, the true parent uh, is the uh, owner of a, a peace and the uh, owner of a lineage. <coughs> the, the owner of a peace is the true, true parent. And the owner of a, a lineage is the true parent. And that is the title of one of the uh, texts in the eight uh, textbooks and teaching materials. And, and uh, everyone must uh, read that. The, and number 14, 
by the true parent, the God of night, God of day, the uh, King of Kings, uh, God, uh, and the, uh, and uh, are are uh, liberated and given complete freedom. So the uh, God gave Father the name of a uh, true parent. So, so, true Father, who is the true parent, is the substantial God. So this word, this is very important. This sentence is very important. Jesus said that uh, he who sees me sees God. And so, is he, uh, so well, if you see me but you say you don't see God, what, what are you going to do? So we, when we saw God, when we saw Father, we saw God. It would be, we, we were, by looking at Father, we could see what God was like, what, what he's speaking about, his living, his lifestyle, and all of that is the, that the words that he spoke, the words that God spoke. And he did the things uh, that uh, God uh, did. And this is the Jesus' words. So because Jesus was, did that way, Father also did that way. And so, and so Jesus said to Philip, he who sees me, if you see me, you see the Father. And no one in the world re believes this. How can a, a human being be God? But now, uh, what a true Father is the uh, tr substantial God. When you go, if you go to the spirit world and you want to see God, uh, you will see Father. And also on the earth, um, the, if you, if we want if people to ask to see God, they, they he will take on Father's body. Uh, and uh, uh, give uh, uh, his words uh, and his love. So, his his love is is uh, infinite. There's no limit, and the uh, the love of the true parent is also uh, eternal. There's no end. So then, we have we uh, attended such a person, and we were not able to understand everything that he said. And he went to the spirit world. The, but uh, the. Father said that I must live until um, but uh, more than 100 years old, but uh, he, was, he went before that. So, 104. So, Father said that he needed to uh, live until 104 and uh, accomplish everything by then. And so then, so, but he went at 93. So, we, nev we never expected that he would uh, go at 93, but, but he went suddenly. If Father were still here on this earth, what would he do? Our, would our church be in such confusion as it is now? No, it would, no. Would the world be in such confusion? No. Would Korea be in such confusion? No. Today, not just ourselves, but our families, our church, not just that, but also the country and the, and the and world, and even the cosmos, are, are, are now going through very difficult issues. So, from that position, uh, today, we uh, we have been explaining uh, who God is, and uh, the conclusion is that a true Father is the substantial God. So that, so please, we need to follow that word as if it, our life depended on it. So then, now we will go into the next part. Uh, how did the universe come into being? The, the universe doesn't just uh, suddenly uh, happen, it was created. So then, uh, how did it come into being? How, well, so we've been explaining how God came into being. From now, we'll start talking about how the universe came into being. Is it a creation or evolution? The uh, conclusion is that it is a creation. Why is that? All beings uh, come uh, are come into being as a result of love. Uh, therefore, they all come in pairs, from the uh, subatomic particles and all the way up to human beings. Everything is in a pair system. Why is that? Because of love. And so. And so everything the being that comes into being, uh, everything comes into being, it comes in uh, by, comes because of by love and lives by love. 
And so because of love, they are in a pair system. But in science, is the, when you put in input energy, always the input is larger than the uh, output. <clears throat> For example, if we put in 100 units, then in the, in the process, some energy is going to be used up, and maybe a five uh, is uh, used up, and so only 95 is going to come out and the, and the output. And so the more you put in, uh, the, uh, the less you get. But not, that is not true with love. For love, the input is uh, less, th less than the output. <clears throat> so if you put in 100, it does not, it, it will come to 101, 102. So always, uh, love always increases uh, during the process. Uh, the output is always greater. And so by love, it could be created. And, uh, and, uh, and love uh, could, has an eternal, eternal aspect. And so that is why uh, we could uh, exist eternally. And so well, then, uh, why is it creation and not, and not evolution? Because everything comes from the seed. And the uh, seed is the uh, uh, sperm. And so, for example, let's, uh, let's look at the birds, for example, two types of birds. So a sparrow, a sparrow is in uh, Korea and uh, U.S. and uh, Europe and uh, uh, Brazil. I saw them, uh, Africa also, I saw uh, sparrows. How did they spread around the world? Uh, the, uh, how did uh, the, but, uh, they, they started from one place? And then the and Korean uh, a crow, and then the, anyway, two uh, types of birds. Uh, he's giving examples, and uh, one is a sparrow, and another is a, a similar bird. But uh, they will not. Uh, one will not become the other because they have a, a different uh, seed, and the seed is uh, uh, absolute, unique, uh, eternal, and unchanging. And so, a new development uh, must uh, have must uh, have a creativity added. And so, th what does that mean? Uh, so, if I have something like this, if if I want something that is uh, more functional and more beautiful and lighter and uh, smaller, um, in order to do that, uh, creativity. It has to be invested there with uh, about with uh, with the technology has to be put in there and uh, so a purpose in there and that is a that is creation <clears throat> so then is this evolution no it is not so so uh, development and evolution are the, are different development if a uh, if a a becomes a prime that is development but if uh, but if uh, A becomes B, A becomes B, that would not be development, that would be evolution. For example, if an ape became a human being, that would be evolution. So then we, we evolved, human beings evolved, how? Uh, ape uh, worked and did through labor and became uh, human beings. So, well let's, well, all right, let's uh, catch an ape and make him work. Let's see if he turns into a human. So, so the, then, then they have developed reason, and they made tools, and uh, uh, and they developed language, and they became a human being. So, so, let's suppose that uh, if a person didn't work, then would he go back to being an ape? Uh, uh, you have to go back and, and work again in order to become a human being again. Uh, so I was a. Uh, in, there was a. Hmm? It was a, in North Korea. Uh, there are many people of faith, but uh, they well, they you know, scatter, and um, in Korea uh, we would call it uh, South Korea. We would call it. Um, This is a, I see, a work camp, a, a concentration camp. So, people who pray, and then they, uh, and they are caught, and they are sent to the concentration camp, and then they have to sit so that their chest is uh, touching their knees, and then, and uh, they stay, they are forced to stay like that for a year. Um, then they are oh, they they they, are, they cannot move they cannot change them so that is their punishment so um, 
and um, once they're kept like that in that position for many years, then they they uh, cannot they become uh, disabled. And that is the punishment for people who pray. So these are people, these are communists. These are also human beings, but this is how they think. They are also human beings. They, it's a human society. How can they do that? But that is their ideology that makes them do that. There's their ideas, their uh, thinking that makes them do that. We are, that is why we don't like communism. And that is, they say that there is no God, they say there's no spirit world, and they deny the uh, spirit self. And they say that it is, we evolved. Satan, Z, in order to oppose God, says that there is no spirit world. And then, and where are the, where's the archangel then? So where, he's in the spirit world himself. He said that there is no God. But uh, the, uh, the angels, uh, but the angels also a type of God, a small g God, uh, then he's all denying himself. So, the, so he established a, a ideology in order to deny a God, but that caught himself. So that eventually destroys Satan. So in the in the end days, uh, Father said that the end the end of communism, Father used that word that word, because a God has been, because Father uh, revealed God, communism cannot continue to exist. It must end. So that is how he knew that uh, a communism would end. So then he, they insisted on evolution, but it is not. But but it but it is the creation by God. It's a, and because uh, absolute sex was established, so the uh, absolute sex was established. So now free sex uh, uh, will end. We must uh, declare the end of uh, free sex, because uh, we have declared a Chonaguk, the the satanic world must end. It's uh, just a matter of time. The satanic world will end. It's just a matter of time. That is the era we are living in. This is these are the last days. And the, uh, there's a uh, exchange. There's a, a change in, in the uh, last days. So, so where is it? Uh, um, is a existence first or uh, circumstances first? I think that the circumstances are first. And then when the, when the, uh, God creates, uh, He does everything in very detail and very concretely, and so He thinks about it. And so there's a very detailed plan and uh, uh, thought and uh, 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 thinking, thinking, I see, thinking, very, different, very thinking, not circumstances, but thinking. Uh, so then, so there's a motivation and purpose uh, that, uh, that uh, uh, comes first. And so then the uh, c conclusion is not evolution; it is creation. And so the uh, so the uh, debate between uh, creationism and uh, evolutionism has already ended, and uh, we can declare the end of evolution. Uh, um, Pomshin known as um, pantheism, pantheism, and uh, is um, Can you look it up quickly? Um, Plotinus, Plotinus, is that, is that the Greek guy who, uh, 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 um, is that? Um, Plotinus, Plotinus? Let's see. Uh, so the, can't find it. Uh, so it, it, it uh, overflows, and then the the the, uh, uh, blood, the, uh, the uh, water outside the cup is less is less than the water inside the cup, and so then. Sorry, sorry means theory, but uh, uchu means a uh, flowing outward, uh, flowing outward theory. Uh, apparently, this is a Greek philosopher's uh, theory. And then, so how about uh, a big? How about the Big Bang theory? Uh, this is the. Uh, uh, now we're discussing the Big Bang theory, and um, uh, they say the scientists say that they have established the uh, Big Bang theory, and um, they are trying to justify this. 
uh, it has just uh, happened naturally, they say, uh, through the uh, Big Bang Theory. And they say that uh, uh, 20 billion years ago, and um, uh, they are, there was a, a very small particle that was a, a 10 to the minus uh, 34th uh, degrees uh, centi centimeter. But uh, the conclusion is that this also is wrong. A very uh, uh, small particle existed at uh, 20 billion dollars, and then it uh, it exploded, and uh, uh, then the universe came into being as a result of that explosion. That, but uh, but if you say that uh, a very small particle tw 20 billion years ago uh, uh, exploded uh, with uh, infinite uh, energy, if that created the universe, then then, then, uh, then the, uh, and they say that uh, that energy is still uh, moving the universe, universe, and that uh, that energy of 20 billion years ago is, is still functioning, but no one knows when that uh, will end. And this is, um, and this is a this uh, theory by the scientists. They, but actually, science denies this because the the uh, Big Bang theory is also wrong. The we d they don't know. Uh, no one knows how long this uh, energy will continue to expand the universe. And the, the uh, particle that was uh, had a diameter of ten to the minus thirty fourth degree uh, centi centimeter, um, and this becomes the. It goes beyond science, the ability of science uh, to uh, understand this. So the Big Bang itself uh, denies uh, science, so it is, is self-contradictory. And so then, the, so then there is the uh, universe uh, creation theory. This is also wrong. Um, it says that uh, it simply uh, created, it was simply came into being without any kind of a purpose or motivation. And in the um, East, in Orient, this is the uh, uh, Tai Chi Seng, uh, uh, Yin Yang theory. This is a Confucian's, uh, uh, Seng, uh, Confucianism. And uh, also the West, in the West is the Yutus or, or the pantheism of uh, Polytonius and uh, Hegel's uh, uh, absolute spirit. Uh, and uh, India, this is the Hinduism's uh, Hinduism um, uh, theory, and also uh, the, uh, so. The, so, if this is the case, then the if that just came into being uh, naturally, then it means that uh, human sin also came into being just naturally, and they see, and this will not give us a this will not give us a fundamental solutions uh, to. Uh, the uh, problems of the world, and so if we uh, uh, if we talk about if we uh, insist on this kind of a theory, the, we are we are not we need to in order to understand how to solve the uh, the theories of the, the problems of the world, we need to know exactly the uh, purpose of creation, and we need to understand the fundamental basis of a sin. Uh, otherwise, we we cannot uh, create a um, happy and uh, a peaceful uh, and a unified world that everyone desires. In other words, a Chanyu cannot uh, come about if this were true. So, a Big Bang uh, theory, and, and uh, just, uh, say, just uh, saying that the things came into being naturally, this is all wrong. So then, now, what about in the, how about in the uh, OSDP then? Is the, uh, the, the, for the first time, we're able to explain the creation of the universe uh, in a uh, logical way. The God's uh, creation of the universe uh, st began with one, and so it's, uh, uh, he first uh, created one uh, energy particle, and then this uh, created a um, uh, atom, and from that a uh, this, and then a molecule, and then and then. He uh, created many uh, elements uh, uh, with these, um, and then, at, uh, uh, 
uh, first uh, the uh, inorganic uh, um, uh, things and then the uh, plants and then the uh, 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 animals in that order and then he finally created his children. So the, the uh, entire universe is the um, the, the universe uh, is the uh, 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 venue or the stage uh, for uh, all or human activity or human activity. The entire universe is that uh, uh, is that uh, place. So the uh, it is the homeland of God, and is the cosmos uh, is the home homeland of God. So where is the the cosmos is that the spirit world and physical world are that? So we're but uh, we were born on the earth though on the land, and so this uh, universe is the uh, homeland of God, and it's the, the place where the sun is born, and that is the, uh, then that is, that is the sun's homeland, and it must be the father's homeland as well. So then because of that, being a son, born as a sons of God, sons and daughters of God, then, uh, then this earth is the homeland of God. And then, but the, but the, when we go to the spirit world, then that world will be the fatherland of God. Uh, so the so that cosmos, uh, cosmos then is the uh, fatherland of God, and then the and uh, the father's uh, uh, fatherland is uh, the son's fatherland as well. So so uh, we see that the uh, universe is always uh, expanding, and it uh, does not uh, uh, did not uh, come from just one moment. But it uh, came from a very long period of creation, and so it is a it's a cumulative thing. It's cumulative. They say that you throw a stone into a pond, and then there are waves that the ripples that come from that stone. So, if it is a uh, small stone, then it will give uh, small ripples. But if you throw in a large stone, it will give uh, large ripples. So, in the same way, the very small particle. Uh, was uh, exploded by a, a, a very large uh, power, very large energy, and then it, uh, it uh, go, go, and it uh, uh, becomes large and small, large and small. Have you look? Watch a volcano explode. It will go up uh, uh, several thousand meters uh, first, and then then it will a smaller explosion, and a large explosion, then a small explosion. So it's the same uh, with, as the ripples in the pond. So the so the uh, creation of the universe did not happen just in a moment, but it is a, it, uh, in a cumulative way. Uh, and then, and then the, and the, so matter, because they didn't uh, occur all in the same matter, it does not appear in the same way. So God, so God, who is the, uh, is the, uh, so original. Uh, Song Sang is the uh, en energy type mind, and the original Hyung Sang is the mind type energy. Hmm? Sorry, I think that's the other way around. So God, God existed is as the original substance of energy, not only material. There's also mental energy, spiritual energy. Therefore, we say mind type energy, and that's original uh, song sang. And that there's a material energy as well, but there is mind within that. So, energy is mind, mind is energy. So, mind and energy are the same thing. That is what we mean by the unified, harmonized, uh, unified body. So, the original source, original substance of energy, and therefore uh, that, that subject exists, is a single subject, 
so that God, Hananim, exists as a single unified being. And then uh, developed into, uh, developed the uh, attributes of Song Sang and Hyung Sang. In, in um, exposition of divine principle, it describes the, um, the attributes but says that God exists. It doesn't explain that uh, the attributes of God, Song Sang and Hyung Sang, developed later after the existence of God. That's why they're attributes, because there is a substance in the beginning. Attributes only come into being when there is a substance. So God who exists, preceded, existed before everything is the uh, original substance of energy. Therefore, the uh, first uh, attributes are original Song Sang and Hyung Sang. And then we have uh, positivity and negativity or attributes of the Song Sang and Hyung Sang. In this way, we can see that OSDP really explains in concrete terms the very nature of God. We'll find more detailed contents within Father's words to understand God more clearly, more concretely. I believe there will be that content within Father's words. But at this point, I believe that you can really clearly understand how and in what manner God exists, and you can understand that God had a purpose for creating. And the point is that you can feel deeply with God's artistic contact. You need to know God. In order to understand God and know God, we need to study these things. God is not the one to uh, restore and fix everything. But we, by knowing God, then we need to go back to God. Uh, human beings were created in the image of God, but we need to know what we're meant to. In order to go back to our original position, we need to understand God so that we know what image we are meant to be. So, therefore, we need to understand God clearly in the beginning. That's the starting point. So all the different concepts of God, you know, we can only, uh, you know, God is a God of judgment or God is a, this type of God or that type of God, can only explain that by truly understanding. And the point is within God, there is the divine image of God and the divine nature. You probably, you know, uh, we've heard a lot of this content. It may not have sunk in, but every time you hear this, when you hear this again, it will sink in. It'll make more sense. This is why Father declared from the beginning that you have to uh, listen to the OSDP content many times. And then even the people in the spirit world, your ancestors need to come together and listen together with you. So it's not just us who are here listening to OSDP. But in fact, uh, spirit world, our ancestors from the spirit world, many, many beings from the spirit, uh, uh, spirit people from the spirit world are together with us listening to this content. And as they are good spirits, the more, the, the more power they obtain, the more they can act. So here we are. We need to understand that uh, not just us and then behind us, we have our ancestors, but also we need to um, pioneer the way and open the way for those who come after us, our descendants. So we're responsible for the past and the future, plus also the present. Okay. So energy is mind. And in that vacuum state, the energy in that victim state um, can be, uh, you know, compared with uh, a vibrational phenomena. So, within that vacuum state, energy uh, continues to increase and increase. Um, 
and and thereby acting and creating vibration and then together with the vibration this forms into uh, particles then at that point in time the vacuum state uh, does not continue but then uh, develops uh, through various stages or that uh, the vibrational state uh, uh, develops through stages Oh, the scale. So if you look at vibrations, there's a there's an order and structure within vibration. For example, the 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 octaves, and and the and the and the sound scale. When we say, for example, do re mi so fa, you know, from the sound of music. <laughs> so, yeah. So. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. So, the world that manifests today in the form of um, vibration, all those different vibrations are different, and that's why we have this incredible diversity and variety in the world that we live in. So, so in in the end, the the. So the characteristics of particles uh, are eventually determined by the uh, mind type energy uh, that we can understand logically. And when when science reveals this uh, uh, facts, then that will be the point that uh, science is able to become one with religion. So. Because the mind and body were divided at the fall, the mind and the body need to become united. So, in order to overcome the ignorance of these two realms, God developed science and God developed religion. So they become united. Once the Messiah comes here, he's, the Messiah is able to uh, declare the true principle and open up the way for religion and science to become united into one. So a mind and body can also then be united, and heaven and earth can be united. So when the Messiah comes and teaches that new truth, explaining the then the mission of the mission of religion, the mission of science, the mission of uh, politics, the mission of uh, economics, all can become unified into one. So, when will that um, that concentration and unity of all of this become one? When the final word of the uh, uh, Messiah is finally uh, uh, revealed, that's when that will take place. So. So, um, in the in the evolution, for example, of economics, uh, capitalism came forward to uh, un, un, unravel or undo the uh, the structure of imperialism. So, uh, in order to um, unravel the uh, the structure of monarchism, this is why democracy evolved. Godism is the uh, content shown to us by Father, introduced by Father. Imperialism. It is, it is any kind of imperialism is when one person or one group or one organization controls everything, when power is concentrated like that. So we have capitalism, but if one individual or one one um, 
you know, organization or company completely concentrates all the wealth, this is not good. So it needs to be, uh, if that happens, then we have some people in the, in the nation are starving and other people can concentrate all the wealth. That's no good either. So have you ever heard about a heavenly socialism? From the viewpoint of communism, they say that before communism comes in, socialism is there. But the reason why that is is because uh, Satan always precedes God in unfolding in the unfolding of God's providence. So the kind of socialism uh, accomplished by Satan is uh, completely different because it may have a similar form to the heavenly socialism, but the motivation and and the purpose is completely different. So politically, economically, even morally or ethically. Uh, we'll have to go uh, later on to the end to talk about this. Why are the different... Okay, we're in, in a process, in a transition process headed towards a one direction. So today we spoke about uh, the sort of scientific uh, elements about how the the universe came into being, but I'm not a scientist. This kind of principle, uh, once we've explained this principle from Father's words, then scientists need to come in and then research based on that in order to find out the 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 uh, the factual. Uh, way that this unfolds. So God, who is the original substance of the principle, uh, exists through the relationship of subject and object. God's original sonsan, original hyongsang, uh, form the unified, uh, united, harmonized, unified body, and God exists as the unified, unique, unified being. And also the relationship between the original Sung Sang and Hyung Sang have a relationship of subject and object. Moreover, the original original positivity and original negativity have a subject object relationship and exist as the attributes of original Sung Sang and original Hyung Sang. So the subject has a position, an object has a position they have a, a qualification and there's a difference there. So when we speak from the viewpoint of um, position, uh, man is the uh, masculine subject and woman is the feminine object. Sorry, from, that's from the position of um, role, but from the, position, from, from the viewpoint of position, Namja is a subjective being and a woman is the objective being. The subject is on the left, the subject is on the right, and the object is on the left. So the, the, uh, the principles and the norms that must be kept by the individual, that must be kept within the family, these are all uh, the way that we must uh, behave and act and, uh, and, um, uh, and exist, uh, must be according to the heavenly principle, the heavenly way, um, which uh, preserves the principal order of the universe. And so, when when one of the uh, one of the one of the beings within that correct relationship leaves its correct position, then the other uh, participant in the relationship needs to wait until that being returns to its its correct position. Let's think about uh, a train. A train is going along its the train rail. If the uh, rail, if the rail that a train is going along. Uh, uh, goes or splits, or there's a problem there, then the train cannot can, cannot move forward. Therefore, with men and women, if either of them uh, diverts from the correct path, then the other one cannot continue forward because they are not going towards God alone. They have to go to God together. 
So then you have to, if what happens if your, your partner uh, diverts from the track? You need to persuade your partner and bring them back so that you can proceed again together. Therefore, perfection and completion is not accomplished alone, but is accomplished through my partner, through my object. So therefore, all beings n exist uh, in a reciprocal relationship and exist for the sake of the other the partner through which they uh, can be perfected. So the reason why we exist is uh, for the sake of our, ob of our, of our object partner. And uh, we exist to bring about the perfection of our object partner. And it's through our object partner that we can accomplish our perfection. The perfection of my object partner is my perfection. So God who exists vertically uh, uh, manifests as subject and object uh, horizontally and lives... Uh, so we have to live in love for the sake... Uh, a subject and object need to live for the sake of each other through love. So what about the universe? Is the universe... Uh, uh, great and unlimited. How, how do uh, scientists explain about the universe today? So, um, scientists say that there is perhaps something like a uh, hundred billion galaxies in the world, in, in the universe. Hundred. If you want to count up to um, 10, 10 billion, 100, if you count, want to count up to 100 billion, uh, if you, it will take your entire life. That's how many numbers are there. It would take 3,200 years if you count one, one, uh, one number every second to count up to 100 billion. So when we say that there's uh, 100 billion um, uh, you know, uh, galaxies within the universe, uh, it's just we can understand it's an incredible size. So... How far is a light year then? A light year is uh, the uh, the distance of a light year is the uh, distance to travel by light, traveling at the speed of light uh, in one year. So, so sometimes it's it's ten thousand, you know, a hundred thousand light years between different parts of the, of the universe. Tens of millions of light years. So when we look at the stars, they look almost like they're close together. But in fact, they are so, so far apart. So we need to understand that, you know, the universe is just uh, bigger and bigger and bigger and that it's always been expanding. expanding. So, so how big is the universe? It's eternal. Of course, there's no way that we can explore the universe with a physical body because of limited. Rather, our spirit self, once we uh, go to the spirit world through our spirit self, then we can go on a tour around the universe. So the universe will be so beautiful, um, perhaps more beautiful even than the world that we live on today. And this is how much uh, God prepared for human beings. God is taking care of us. God loves us, created this incredible universe for us. So let's bring this to a conclusion. The basic principle of the movement of the universe is uh, extremely complex. Therefore, it's 
it was, and until now, we've thought it has been very difficult to understand, to understand the uh, the behavior, the movement, or the manifestation of the universe. There are many um, dimensions of the universe that we still don't know about. So no matter how complex it is, even though there are many um, very fine and, and delicate uh, phenomena, but we can understand it through the principle, that the basic principle of the uh, manifestation and action of the universe is the principle of give and receive action. In other words, the principle of the four position foundation within the fallen world and the world of sin. Because there are fallen human beings who live in a fallen human society, the basic principle has been denied. Therefore, you know, individual problems, family problems, even world problems, uh, we can only resolve those things when we correctly establish the principle the principle of the universe, the, the basic principle of the universe and the and that action within our lives. So when we apply uh, God's principle to our life and into our society, then that will be the basis uh, for development and resolving problems in society. That that principle is already in action in nature. It's functioning everywhere. So we human beings need to apply the principle of giving and receiving action, centering on God, establishing the four position foundation so that God can be joyful. And when God is joyful, I'm joyful. When I'm joyful, God is joyful. And we can accomplish the, the kind of world that God desires when we apply that principle in our life and in the world. So today, uh, let's do it up to here. Then from tomorrow, we'll have a look at the relationship between God and between human beings. Remember I said existence and relationship. These are the fundamental issues that we need to look at. What kind of relationship is there? What kind of beings are we? God and human beings, human beings and God. What about God and the creation? Human beings in the creation. We we'll look at all these relationships. So, let's pray together and we'll complete our studies today. Loving Heavenly Father, today was our third day where we'll be able to um, share your precious words together. Thank you so much for um, being with us during this time. We heard your words and there's still so much that we need to absorb. Our, our spirits are still dark. We not, have not been able to understand your teaching. Please forgive us for the, the dull state of our spirit. Father, so many um, heart, heart, heartache and tears and sweat behind, Father, the words that we've, we've, sh we've been able to learn. Unfortunately, so many of us are still unable to understand these words. Heavenly Father, if you were within our hearts, we would be able to understand this much more deeply. Unfortunately, the reality that we are in is that we cannot, until now, loving Heavenly Father, Father, your deep heart, your deep bright light, we want to preserve it within our, in our hearts on this third today, this wonderful opportunity that we've had to share together. Dear loving Father, please be happy. We feel hope and we want you to feel hope within us. We thank you for your love. Please make us into people of ability, people who can manifest your ideal. 
Heavenly Father, give us the power of love, the 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 ability of of Shimjong, the ability of love, loving Heavenly Father. We've been talking about the original substance and the words that you've established for us. True parents, love and investment. May it be able to manifest through us to the entire universe. For so many children who have lived in the providence, please guide us and guide every everyone to be able to open their heart to you listen to your words receive your words please become, make us into people who can carry your shimjong and be able to bear the depth and profoundness of your shimjong father may you be our motivation may you be the start and the finish and guide everything that we do here together so that we can uh, you called us as your sons and your daughters please we will invest our effort we will we'll try our best in order to appear as your sons and daughters therefore please wake us up open our hearts so that we can go closer to you once again we studied your word today please within these words we understand your heart uh, everything that you've had to be able to overcome Please guide us to be wise and faithful children who know how to share this word and how to understand this word. Loving Heavenly Father, please may all the children who are here today, may your grace be upon them. May they feel your presence. Even please wake up their hearts so they can feel your spirit today. Here, when we... You have established, Father, the mission of the heir of your representative here on this earth. Father, let us think again about how difficult and challenging that path of the heir is. Father, you know that so well. Loving Heavenly Father, please let your blessing, your grace and your love be upon that heir who's taken up that incredible responsibility. Inherited from true Father, may you have greater strength, greater wisdom, and greater love. Father, I sincerely, deeply ask this. Father, until we meet again tomorrow, may you be with each and every one until tomorrow. I pray all these things in the name of Yun Jong-ok, Central Blessed Family, Aju.